What's going on YouTube? This is your boy The Vintage Man back with another video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the Smacker Facts video me and my wife did yesterday. Super funny. I was watching it last night before I went to sleep and I was still laughing. On oh, how she slapped me, you know what I'm saying? A little double hand slap. How you feel about that? Awesome. That that Perfect. was so that was so wrong, y'all. But if y'all ain't checked it out yet, make sure you go check it out. Very funny video for you guys. You stuck home and you wanna laugh, man. So go ahead and enjoy the video we dropped for you guys yesterday. But today, you see it, you see all the Yeezy boxes. We about to be doing a Yeezy collection video. I'm gonna show you guys all of my Yeezys I have in my collection this far. And I've really been only collecting Yeezys for like two years. Uh, the year before I went to Germany. Yeah, so it's been about two years uh, that I've been collecting Yeezys. There's still a lot of Yeezys I wanna go back and get. And there's a lot of Yeezys that have been rumored to release this year, 2020. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for your boy. Follow me over on Instagram, at Adventures World. The link will be in the description box below. And with all that being said, we're about to jump right into this Yeezy collection video, man. Let's get it. All right, guys, so to start it off, we're about to grab the 700 V2 Vanta joints. I grabbed these when I was overseas in Germany, uh, so they will always hold like a special spot in the collection. I probably won't ever sell these, and they're not going for that much on like StockX and GOAT, but this is one of those 700s and one of those Yeezys that I want to keep in the collection for a long time to come, man. I cannot wait for them to drop more 700 V3 colorways. You guys do know we got a couple pairs already in 2020, and there's a lot more scheduled to release this year, man, so I cannot wait for that. So to start off, like I said, 700 V2 Vanta joints. All right, next, man, another 700. I actually got a lot of 700s, and I didn't even realize it. Uh, we have the Mauve joints, and I think I got these off a of goat, and I was overseas in Germany as well, man. Very dope. It goes with a lot of things, it's like one of those small colorways. And I was still even rocking these in the summertime, man. I just think this is a dope shoe. Got the hits of lime green in there, all over brown or that Mauve colorway, whatever you want to call it. You even got the reflective three stripes on the upper of these 700s, man. This is one of my favorite 700s in a collection. All right, man, so we're about to get to the next. Yeezy in the collection. Check them out, check them out, man. Very dope. This is another Yeezy that I caught when I was overseas. This one is a little harder to wear. I still don't know what to like fit this together with. A uh, very difficult pair to wear, but it's still a dope shoe and I had to cop it. And this is actually a pair I got from GOAT uh, with defects, man. I don't know what the defect was. Maybe it was like discoloration or something like that. Uh, but still a very dope shoe and a Yeezy I had to throw in the collection, man. Let's get to the next one. All right, next we have the 700 Salts, man. Uh, another Yeezy that I copped when I was overseas. There was a lot of these that I copped when I was overseas. This is when the 700s really started growing on your boy. After I copped the Wave Runners, which we're about to see next, I had to get a lot more of these in the collection, man. This is like one of my most worn shoes. You can kind of tell by the bottoms. I just beat these things up and they go with a lot of things, man. So very neutral colorway. And let's get to the next one. All right, man, check it out. Check it out. 700 Wave Runners, very fire to me. Uh, I know everybody has at least one of these in their collection. I had the opportunity to get a pair on the exclusive access that Adidas gave out, I think, last week. But I turned it down. Maybe one day down the line, I get another pair because, as you can see, can you pick it up on the camera? Like how dirty it is. It look clean? Nah, these are definitely super dirty. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, but I wear these a lot. I was wearing these to school and stuff like that. Uh, but I definitely need another pair to throw on ice, man. All right, so for my first 380 in the collection, which I still need a lot more, like the Aliens, uh, and it's a lot more that's scheduled to release this year, uh, but I had to cop these missed the first 380 in the collection, man. I recently just did a review and on feel on these, so if you have not checked it out, make sure you go check it out. Very fire, and I really love how when that sun or the light hits, this little horizon piece on the 380s, man, really pops, man. Gives it a nice touch to the shoe. So now we are through with the 380s and the 700s. We're about to jump straight into the 350s, which are very dominant in my Yeezy collection, man. So the first one to start off is the 700 Yi Chows or the 700 Top 3s, man. Has a lot of different colors in these. And the laces on these joints are 3 of man. Very fire. This is a shoe right here that released last year, and a lot of people had second thoughts on these. But when they released, you can tell a lot more people starting to feel them because you start seeing that StockX price and that GOAT price start to rise up on these shoes, man. All right, next we have the Triple Black 350 V2s, man. Very fire. You got the tab on the back that really looks a lot like the V1s that released back in the day. And I always think to myself, will Yeezy and will Adidas bring back some of the 350 V1s that have released in the past? But it's still up in the air, and I think a lot of people are hoping that they do. Uh, but to give this to us was very fire, man. All right, check it out, check it out. Another 350 in the collection is 
the McChickens, aka the Semi Frozen Yellows, man, very fire. Uh, I caught these two when I was in Germany, and this was like the first, I think this was the first pair of Yeezys I caught when I was over there, as far as 350s. I first found a store called Museum when I started vlogging down there, and I figured out there was getting a lot more Yeezys to release in that store. I remember when these first released, these was going for like $1,000 and up, but now you can check on StockX and Goat and stuff like that and see them going for right around retail, no more than 350 All right, next, man, we have the Yeezy Reels. I wish they would have threw uh, the 3M laces in this colorway right here. I feel like they would have popped a lot more. It is no 3M and E's at all, man, but they did drop a reflective pair of these Yeezy reels, man. So let's get into the next 350. All right, guys. So another staple Yeezy right here, man. The zebras. When these first released as well, these released like seven times, I think. Uh, but every time that they released, the prices was going down. But you guys remember when they first released, these going for a thousand plus. Man, I seen people spend fifteen hundred dollars on these shoes right here, and it's crazy because now today you can get these for retail, man. Very crazy, but still a dope shoe. This really started off that 350 trend. Y'all see the bottom of these? I beat these joints up. I already had three pair of these zebras. Maybe I need another pair to keep on ice, man. All right, guys, so another Yeezy that really, you know what I'm saying, stuck out there and everybody loves is the triple whites, the creams. You didn't get any reflective hits or anything on this. It's just all straight white. And people was going crazy over these creams in their first release as well. But as you guys know, these, uh, the zebras, the semi-frozen yellows all released multiple times. So it started knocking down the value on these shoes, man. All right, next we have the Lumarks. And did you guys remember last year, it was a lot of shoes that looked just like the Lumarks. And a lot of people felt that late 2019, a lot of shoes was looking the same. And a lot of people wasn't really feeling the Yeezy 350s that was dropping, man. Everybody was tired of the colorways. This one right here released summer of 2019. And I kept this joint in the collection. I wore this a lot. And this neutral colorway just goes with a lot of things in the wardrobe, man. All right, so next is the Cloud Whites. And this was a shoe, like I said, when people was tired of the same color block and the color schemes. This one right here was one of those shoes, man. But this one right here I kept because I did not have the statics. This is like the closest thing to the statics. So I was like, man, let me go ahead and cop these because the statics was going for about 350 to 400 bucks last year, man. So these right here would do good for me in the collection. Let's get to the next 350. I got so a recent pickup that I just copped was the Pure Platinum, AKA the Desert Sages, man. These are very fire. Kais actually dropped a video talking about the Pure Platinum Nikes and these right here. And they had a lot of resemblance in the two, man. Very fire. I was happy they brought this joint out. And the thing I like the most about these, I don't know if you can pick it up, is the 3M stripe that goes across the whole shoe, man. And this is my latest 350 pickup. All right, guys, so last but not least, we have them on feet right now and it is the Yeezy slides, man. I cannot wait they drop the Croc joints that's supposed to be releasing this year. And I can't wait till they drop a lot more of these, man. Maybe like a triple black colorway of these, but they super comfortable. And a lot of people was hating, even a person behind the camera about these slides right here, man. But they are super fire. And you'll see these on a lot more people's feet. All right, guys, I appreciate you pulling up to the updated Yeezy collection. The last one I did was like two years ago, and I didn't have near as many Yeezys in the collection, man. So I figured I'd do this video for you guys to show you the growth of my Yeezy collection. Make sure you slap that like button right now if you have not hit it yet. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already, and hit the notification bell for your boys to never miss another video or live stream that drops on the channel. If you don't mind, please head over to IG, give your boy a follow at Defenses World. It will be linked down below. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.